Well, hello again. So this week we're going to be talking about On Point by Chloe Bayless. Now this is another Australian book. Um, I've read a fair few of them and Australian literature is particularly hit or miss. And with this book, personally, I adored it. Um, so this is the true story of Chloe Bayless's life and how she had to unfortunately drop out of competitive ballet. Competitive and professional ballet. Um, she's now a Hollywood actor, Hollywood actor, and has been in several, you know, films and TV series. So, what I personally really enjoyed about this book was that it hit me straight in the feels. The, you know, descriptions of what it's like to dance and what the stage feels like really hit home. It was pretty painful, honesty. Um... I definitely cried during reading this book um, because I I miss acting, uh, I miss the stage and dancing and all of that stuff. That was my life until I was 16. What's a weekend? <laughs> um, and her struggles with getting diagnosis and dealing with hospital trips and all of that fun stuff and ending up feeling like a, you know, pincushion after the end of it. It sucks. <laughs> and she portrays that really well. But it's very niche. And so if you are not a dancer or been interested in the performing arts thing and actually understand what she's giving up, it doesn't mean as much. And so people are not going to get the same out of reading this book as what I did and how powerful her retelling is and for someone who's not an author it's really well done there are things like Twilight by Stephanie Meyer that are notoriously bad um, one scene my friend was talking to me about is when Bella's making pancakes in the pit in the kitchen and then in the next shot she's staring into a bowl of cereal um I haven't read Twilight in years so that's also on my list and I will definitely put in, be putting reviews up on that as well as movie to book comparisons but for someone who's not you know a trained author this is fabulous there are I didn't see any notations on it being ghost written or anything like that it was just really good um anyway so I adored this book I gave it a 9 out of 10 purely because what I got out of it not everyone will and I think that's quite sad that not everyone will be able to enjoy this book as much as I did but purely because of my life experiences, it hit. It hurt my feelings. <laughs> it hurt my feelings really badly. But it was really good. Anyway, I'll see you next week. Bye!